All right, so let's go ahead and conduct a regression now. Let's conduct a linear regression. By the way, when you scroll over these, it kind of tells you what that test does. So, just a reminder. Here's our DV distance. Let's use time as a predictor. Okay. Um, and let's just put gender as a predictor. Hit calculate. Okay. Here we are. We have the introduction, that gender and time. Uh, that's the question. If gender and time significantly predicted distance. There's a few assumptions. One of those assumptions is normality. And we really mm -hmm. did it in two ways. One was the, so it preloads the assumptions is what's happening here. You can see that the Shapiro Wilkes, uh, and the QQ plot with the two ways of assessing it. The Shapiro Wilkes was not significant. This indicates that the assumption of normality was met. So the other way to look at it is with the QQ scatter plot. And basically you want these dots to be close to the line. The next assumption is homoscedasticity, okay? And here, mm -hmm. if the assumption is met, if the peer, a points appear randomly distributed around this zero, which it kind of does. The third assumption is that these two variables are not highly correlated. If you have a score of, you know, between five and 10, um, it may be uh, a concern. So five is a concern, 10 should be considered the upper limit. So I'd say, mm -hmm. well, close to five, let it be. Next, look for outliers. Are any of these outliers above the 3.0? And none of them are. So, so far I would say overall the assumptions are met here. Okay. Then we get into the results. The results of the linear regression were significant. Here's the model fit, here's the p-value, and here's the r-square, indicating 99% of the variance in distance is explainable by gender and time. Okay. The female category of gender did not significantly predict distance. Based on this sample, this suggests that moving from male to female category does not have a significant effect on the mean of distance. Time significantly did predict distance. This indicates on average, every time you increase time by one unit, and it was measured in minutes, uh, will decrease, um, well, excuse me, will increase the amount of value of distance by 0.1 units, and that was measured in miles. And then here's your APA table. Also, in addition to the APA table, there's an unstandardized regression equation there. So if you wanted to plug in, whether you're male or female, and the time, you would get the distance. All these have scroll overs as well to help remind people what they are. After you've conducted, and by the way, say you wanted the regression first, you can move it up here, and it will resort the table numbers and the figure numbers. Then we simply, I'll just put that back just for the heck of it, then we simply download the document. Click on download or upload that after moving on over. So what you get in the document is the analyses. Let me just open this up a little bit bigger. What you get with the analyses that were included, for each of those three analyses, we then have a glossary of terms and symbols. So we did descriptives, this is what descriptives are, and here are the terms in it. Here's the Pearson wow. correlation. Wow. This is what it is. And here's some of the terms in that. Mm -hmm. For the linear regression, this is what that is. And here are some of the terms in that. Then we have your basic raw output. This is the current state of the art of SPSS, SAS, and Minitab. Okay. So we also give you that raw output. One thing to note, though, would be that it would not be automatically giving you some of the assumptions. So this is automated to be put in there. 
Let's just scroll on down. So then we get to the heart of this thing, which is basically what we just looked out in the output viewer, okay? Except mm-hmm. now we have it in a Word document. This Word mm-hmm. document is editable. So now you have your draft, now you can edit your document. APA tables, this is your descriptives with your APA table. This is your correlation with mm-hmm. your plot and your APA table. And this mm-hmm. is your regression with your assumptions and the results. Okay. And the APA table, then your references that everything that was referenced 